Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be giving you a guide for you to be able to navigate the contents on this channel in order to gain the maximum benefit from it. In this channel, I aim at creating contents that has to do with STEM and STEM related fields. So here, most of the time we'll be doing a lot of things concerning programming, web design, graphics design, computer science, and uh, in particular high school computer science. Also, at some other times we will work on IoT, web development, and other STEM concepts. For graphics design and disorders that I have listed, it will come later as the channel progresses. As of now, we shall mainly focus on programming and computer science. After that, we shall go on with web design before the other, before the other concepts come. I started this channel because of my experience teaching others programming. Over and over, I had to teach the same thing, which prompted me to create this channel in order for me to produce all my contents and put them in one place in a structured order for you to be able to learn what I've been teaching others without me having to redo the work anymore. My target for this channel is mainly high school students, university students, especially those who just started and did not do any anything concerning computer science, especially in high school. They will often have a lot of problems starting with the university. Then lastly, I also aim to, to help people who want to learn on their own, especially those who want to learn programming on their own. So these are the three categories of people that this channel mainly serves. Other people might find benefits here, but these are the three categories that everything is geared towards. Now I will be discussing the structure of the contents that we put that we'll be posting here. So firstly, the first category will be course like. So the contents will be like a course. And in this course like structure, there will be two categories. There will be crash courses and full tutorial courses. For a crash course, it will be short, straight to the point, containing packed knowledge all in a single video. This is good for you if you want to quickly prepare for an exam which is coming up soon, or you just want to revise and refresh your memory. So uh, under this course like structure, there will also be the full tutorial series. In this category, we'll have a full explanation series for each of the any topics that we'll draw on. So this, this tutorial series will be in-depth and might contain more than one video, each video dwelling on a single topic and analyzing it thoroughly. This will be good for people who are just starting, that is for absolute beginners and also who want to start everything from scratch. Also, we have random projects. So these are just fun, exciting projects that will help people learn new concepts. So it's mainly for people who have experience with whatever is being taught in that particular series. So with that said, it's time for us to look at the courses. So going to the course like content, we mainly have this that you see on the screen will be Discussing solutions of statistical equations in computer science for high school. We also have a crash course and a full tutorial course on C programming. C programming is a main language for teaching programming in high school and in university. So this will be very useful, especially for those who take university university courses that have to do with programming and also do computer science in high school. I also have another course on C++ programming, which will introduce people or anybody who is interested to object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming is like the main design pattern that is used in the software industry for today. So it's very good for you to be able to master it and be able to use it. So in order to introduce it, we'll use C++ and in, in the process, we'll also learn all the things that C++ has and the relationship it has with C. There will also be a crash course and a full tutorial course. So if you already know something, you can just take the crash course 
or if you are preparing for an exam regarding the crash course or if you want to learn from scratch or you are a total absolute beginner you take the full tutorial course it is the same thing for python programming python is a very exciting language even as a beginner you can do really exciting things so that's one of the few that's one of the courses of which i'm very very excited about so we also have a crash course and a full tutorial course as per your need we also have a web design course so this course will deal with html css and javascript even though javascript will also have its own course it will also be integrated in this web design course since you cannot really separate it from web design in the process we also learn some other libraries and frameworks that help on or help us in web design in that light we will learn bootstrap and a few others like tailwind CSS and others that might help us in the process. And under the project categories, mainly we we'll discuss algorithms and data structures. So this is especially useful for those who offer computer science and those who offer computer engineering and electrical engineering or anybody who wants to learn programming on their own. So this is a very very important topic for all of these categories of people. In this project category also, we'll also be doing hackathons. A hackathon will simply be seemingly like a challenge or a coding competition which will be hosted and the people who win or the person who wins get a prize of some sort. So that one is currently deferred and will be looked into at some point in future. So I don't intend to waste your time on this channel. I intend to produce content that will enrich you and I also really care about your time. I don't want you to come here and waste a lot of time on things that will not actually benefit you. So it's, it's true that all the contents are useful. It depends on what you actually came for. Not all of them might be useful to you. So this way after I decided to break it down a little bit to help you to be able to see what you should look at when you you will see the contents, which one you should be able to uh, dwell on more. So for high school students, they should take time to check out past question solutions. It's a programming course and coding project that are simple. This will enable them to prepare for the GC. And if they like it, they are interested in pursuing for themselves, they can also be of help. For university students, they should take algorithms and data structures, no matter which uh, which domain they are under, because it must of be of help in some way. They should also take all courses. That all courses that doesn't necessarily mean they should take everything. It just means that there's no particular course that they are forced to take. Obviously, they might be needed to take C programming course because of what they do at the university, but they might also want to learn something along which I will, I will say they should learn Python. Python is very versatile and it's very good if you really want to go into coding and make something out of it. They should also look forward to the hackathons and the project that will be posted here. These are like one of the most exciting things they can look out for and will be very helpful to them for them to master certain concepts. For people who are self-taught, for people who want to learn programming on their own, this category also includes high school students and university students who exclusively also want to learn programming as a side as a side interest. So these people are encouraged to follow up all the courses, leaving out no. This will be very important since all of the courses will benefit them in some way. So that's all for how you can manage your time. There are other ways in which after being a member of after following up the contents of this channel. You'll be able to see which one fits you best, which one you get maximum benefit out of, and you'll be able to further supplement this map that we've been here so that it can serve you better. Finally, it's not only on this channel that you meet me, so it's good for us to meet beyond the channel. So, in that light, I have a Telegram channel, a Telegram group, but also have a blog, a website. So, you can meet me. You can get to me via my website. I'll link in the description below. I'll also link my WhatsApp in the description below. Later, I'll be creating a Discord server so that all of us can be there and be able to interact there. As of now, the main interaction channels 
uh, the telegram channel and the telegram group but the telegram channel will be sharing content there that will be very useful for you it might be full of contents from any video i might do here but the telegram group will be an interactive group where we can discuss suggest and give requests maybe request for videos on each videos for me to do or similar request i also have a blog which i will link in the description below two of them there's one blog that deals on stem concepts which discusses a lot of things that are similar to what you find on this channel this is the second blog that discusses social issues so you can discuss anything from education to philosophy to psychology and similar topics so check them out check out the two blogs i'm sure you'll find a lot to learn from there also make sure that you join the channel and the telegram group since this will be the only way for you to be able to link what you learn in this channel to what you expected to produce there you will also be able to ask your questions you'll be able to to get the exercises that will be given to submit and exercise that will be given and also you'll be able to you know how to be there for you to be able to take up take part in project exercises and hackathons that will be coming up finally we have come to the end of this video thank you for watching so i hope that gave you a so a, a map of how you should be expecting the contents of this channel to be like so i would like you to share this video with others and share upcoming videos with others subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss anything that i post there i believe it will be very very useful for you and also like this video like every week video you watch here so that others may be able to get to it also i greatly value your collaboration and feedback so put in the comments below anything that you have in mind so if you have any requests you might put in the comment section do not forget to join the main groups that i've listed above i'll put everything in the links below so thank you very much for watching like subscribe and share thank you